Jäger! <laughs> Through dangerous forests, blizzards and muck, my grandson must travel in search of his luck. All right, Drew, uh, we got Jäger this week? Uh, it's definitely an interesting title. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't know what it stands for, dude, to be honest. But <laughs> we jumped into this kind of RPG, side-scrolling, artistic style <laughs> yeah. game with a guy who loses his arm right at the very beginning of the story. Yeah. Yes, it's, you know what? So let's, first of all, we're playing this on the Switch. Yeah. Yeah, so you know what? And this game is, again, I feel like every game we play on the Switch, we say it's made for the Switch. Yeah. But again, it's one of these games where I don't see myself playing it on the larger console, and no. it's, it's it does feel like a, a game I want to play handheld. On the go. Uh, yeah, and let's just kind of start off with the art style. Me and you are always big on art styles. We like games, it. and you know what? This one actually is a pretty cool art style in this game. It's not cell shaded, but it's kind of comic book like yeah. in a sense, right? I really do appreciate the art style. And again, it's one of these things a lot of games I gravitate to pull me in from the art direction. Mm -hmm. And this one is another one of those experiences because of the art direction. I was like, yo, I got to play this. Yeah, I got to check it out. Because yeah. it, it definitely intrigued me just by the way the game looked, yep. the way your main character looks, who happens to be this kind of little blacksmith character. And at the beginning of the game, they take you through a small, you know, set of cutscenes to kind of lay the lay the story out for who you are, what yeah. you're doing, why you're there. And not to spoil too much, he loses his hand early on and I was actually surprised at how graphic they actually made it. I wasn't expecting, because of the art style, I wasn't yeah. thinking that this game was gonna be very, you know, blood and gore, which I'm not gonna say this was, but it, it was a lot more it's, than I expected it to be. Yeah, it's not that kid-friendly sort no. of experience you're looking for when you kind of see this art style. So I appreciate they actually kind of stepped it up a notch mm -hmm. for us. And I love the gameplay loop of this. Man, dude, it is tough. It, it was difficult. It's tough. But losing that arm gives you the ability then to attach other things to it. Like a, like a wheel, like a wagon wheel for a shield. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's why you lose the hand. Now we can attach cool stuff to it. Right on. I've got this grappling hook that yeah. you shooting across the screen. And you can grab other monsters and pull them to you. Man, when you fight some of these monsters, though, this is where the game really kind of takes it to that level of, I hate these Dark, Sa Dark Souls experiences. It's just not my style. No, it's right? difficult. It's I difficult. I want to play the game for the story with a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. Let me go through the story. But as you go out and some of these, like that bear, <laughs> dude, that bear. <laughs> If I could r use that claw and just rip his face off, I, I would just do that. Uh, I know. And, and you know what? Your move set is, I mean, the, the controls are fairly basic. They are. Which, which I like in a lot of these Switch games. Sure. Because I don't want something that got me moving my hands all over the place. Especially no. in handheld mode. Because it, it can side. be difficult with the bumpers sure. and everything like yeah. that. right? Especially with you know somebody that's not a child and has larger hands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it does make it a little more difficult. But again, this is kind of one of those games where you get thrown into it. And I was surprised at a lo all the... Um, the voiceovers in this. They stole my coffin lid. I can't live well nor die well in this village. Who were they? Do you think I would still be out here if I knew? Why does it say, rest in peace on my grave, if I'm not even allowed to do that? Why can't the dead simply stay dead? Oh, I know. Again, again, Switch games, we don't get a ton of voiceovers. Yeah. It's usually reading blurbs and blurbs of dialogue. So getting yep. some voiceover in this was actually tough. really cool. And there's a lot of um, decision making that you also have to make in this game, which I was surprised that I didn't expect to get, to get this, you know, this much depth. I like that the fact that when you go out past your like little hub world, you then get to pick the time of day. Mm -hmm. And the time of day kind of depicts whether or not you have certain abilities to go with that. So if you go in the morning, then you're not as tired. But if you go at noon, then you've actually had breakfast, so you have a full stomach, <laughs> which makes you stronger. Yeah. And then if you go at night, then the enemies aren't as difficult, and that kind of, you know, that sort of thing. So I thought that was really cool. And again, getting back to the RPG element of being able to select your dialogue. Yeah. And the audio, the voiceover is always there. I'm like, dude, for an RPG, you typically read a mm -hmm. lot of content, right? And for me, for me, I was able to just sit back and listen, and I thought the audio, the voiceover was fantastic. Yeah, and it's one of those things where I think maybe the voiceover was added in because the game isn't overly long yes. to begin with, so they can kind of add all that content in there Which for you. Great. But your story's gonna run out a little faster than maybe you want it to, because I yeah. think people that are really gonna sink their teeth into this one are gonna want a little more game than maybe what's offered here. But it is a little short. You can finish this somewhere in around the five to seven hours, 
eight hours if you get killed a little bit more with that bear. <laughs> yeah. But it is there to kind of go out. Like, honestly, that used to be a single player campaign. Yeah. You would go out eight hours, you're done, move on to the next game. But for a game like this, it kind of feels that it should be more of that 30 hour, yeah. 40 hour experience. So yeah, like you want a little up, more of an adventure. Yeah, when you're wrapping that up, you're kind of going, oh man, I want it to kind of continue. But I want to talk on the audio because, dude, what do you think of that music that played all the <sighs> Okay, well, I'll tell you, Drew. I, I've been the, I'm oh, no usually, way. I'm usually the, I'm usually, okay. Let's go. I'm usually the first one to be like, I turn the audio down. Yeah. Because it's repetitive music and certain things like that. When I'm trying to enjoy a game, start to like really like in my head, right? Yeah. So this one early on, I open the menus and I just went music volume all the way down. Oh no there, way. there is. I'm not saying that I don't like the 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 audio style, and the you know the choice of music and stuff <laughs> that they chose. But when I'm stuck trying to figure something out and I keep hearing the same music over, oh, and I'm like, all right, I gotta turn it down. I get it. I get it. I I get it, but I like that audio music. Yeah. Dude, I had a blast listening to the music. I really enjoyed the music. I was able to chill out and kind of go about my adventure and kind of listen. I was surprised at the quality of the audio. Yeah. It was actual songs mm -hmm. versus just like this undertone. Yeah, within, it wasn't just, game, yeah, right? some, you know, just chimes or anything like that. Like you actually, there was a little bit of depth to the music. Yeah, absolutely. Overall, Corey, what are you giving Yaga on the Nintendo Switch? Well, you know what? I wasn't sure what to expect with this one. Uh, right. Jumping in again, it was kind of we just kind of jumped in blind. You said, "Hey, let's check this game out." Sure. Um, the art style really caught me at first. The audio, as much as it bothered me at times, it is well composed. Yeah. So I'm not gonna knock it there. I just kind of wish the game was a little bit longer and maybe not as hard. Yeah. So you know what? If I gotta score this one, I'm gonna give it a solid seven. You know what? I'm right there with you. Difficulty level is there. Great audio, I love the art style. I like the direction it gives you with all the multiple choices that you're able to do with that RPG light experience. Mm -hmm. I'm there with the seven as well. Yaga is a great RPG light that hooked us with its unique art style and tough gameplay. The great voiceover was a nice surprise, but Corey just wasn't feeling that musical audio. I have never seen such a thing in my life. Subscribe to never miss a video and help us by hitting that like button. Oh, the eggs giant as well. Oh, yes. Can you imagine? You could feed a whole village with a single egg. Imagine the omelette. <laughs>